Blindsight, Elon Musk's most insane idea yet. So Neuralink can already help a man control a computer with his mind? Cool. Now, Elon Musk wants to give sight to the blind with a brain chip, because of course he does. He's calling it Blindsight. And yes, it sounds like something out of Black Mirror, but unlike most things from Black Mirror, this is actually happening. The US Food and Drug Administration just designated Neuralink's Blindsight system a breakthrough device, which basically means let's fast track this thing before Elon builds it in a garage. Here's how it works. Instead of trying to fix the eyes, Musk's plan is to skip them entirely, replace them. Two digital cameras act as artificial eyes. Those cameras feed video into the Neuralink chip that's implanted inside your skull. The chip then beams visual data directly into the brain's visual cortex using microscopic wires. This isn't about curing blindness, it's about reprogramming the human experience. Even people who've never had sight could, in theory, start seeing. Because vision isn't about the eyes, it's about the brain. If you've ever questioned whether Neuralink is playing God, well, this might seal the deal. Now, sure, Elon says the first version will look like Atari graphics. Black and white, pixelated, lo-fi vision. But even a flickering pixel of light is a game changer when your world has always been dark. And if you think that's wild, wait until Neuralink starts letting people see in infrared or ultraviolet or radar. Who needs eyeballs when you've got downloadable vision upgrades? The real kicker? Meta just dropped their Orion AR glasses proudly calling them the future of computing. Meanwhile, Elon Musk is like, glasses? Cute, I'm rewriting your optic nerves. So yeah, Zuck's trying to augment reality. But Elon, he's trying to replace it, and that's just the beginning. Seeing is believing, even if you were born blind. One of the most mind-bending claims about blindsight Elon says it could restore vision to people born completely blind. Let that sink in. If you've never seen light, shapes, faces, or colors, how does the brain even know what to do with visual input? Turns out, it doesn't need to know. The brain is basically a giant pattern-matching machine. It just needs data, and Neuralink is ready to deliver it wire by wire. Blindsight will feed that data directly into the visual cortex, bypassing the eyes, optic nerve, and everything in between. Your eyes could be completely destroyed or never have existed, and Neuralink could still plug you into the visual world. It's not restoring vision, it's installing it. Now, this obviously raises questions, like, will the brain be able to understand this new input? Can you learn to see? According to neuroscientists, maybe. There's precedent. Studies with sensory substitution devices, like tongue displays that translate camera input into electric pulses, have shown that the brain can adapt to visual input coming from bizarre places. And with machine learning, Blindsight could eventually tailor visual data to each person's unique brain patterns. The chip doesn't just beam a signal, it learns how your neurons respond and adjusts in real time. This isn't sci-fi anymore, it's neuroplasticity, supercharged, and the cherry on top. Elon Musk isn't stopping at normal sight, he's promising future updates that could let you see outside the visible spectrum. Imagine walking through a dark room and seeing perfectly in infrared or spotting a gas leak with ultraviolet. Basically, superpowers just installed. Meanwhile, Meta's over here celebrating the fact that their $3,500 glasses can put a sticky note on your fridge in augmented reality. Bless their hearts. AR versus BCI. Glasses are cute. Neuralink is a reality hack. Let's talk comparisons. Meta's Orion glasses versus Neuralink's blind sight. Meta wants to augment your reality with floating menus and holograms. Neuralink wants to replace your reality with a new digital input stream wired directly into your brain. One gives you Snapchat filters, the other gives sight to the blind. Meta's hardware, admittedly, is sleek. Their Orion prototype uses laser-based holographic projectors to overlay digital visuals on the real world. It's impressive, but it still relies on your eyes working and not being replaced by cameras mounted on your skull. Here's the problem with glasses. They're external, clunky, easy to lose, hard to wear for long periods, battery dies, they fog up, you sweat, they break, and they can't do much that your phone can't already do. Neuralink, once implanted, it's seamless. No straps, no charges hanging off your nose. You don't wear the interface, you become it. You're not clicking, you're not tapping, you're thinking. Blindsight, like telepathy, uses Bluetooth to connect brain signals directly to external hardware. But instead of reading your mind, it feeds data in, effectively hijacking your perception. This is where things get philosophical. What is seeing? Is it photons hitting your retina or neurons firing in your occipital lobe? If it's the latter, then Neuralink is redefining reality itself. You won't just be seeing like a human, you'll be seeing like a cyborg, and note there's no face filter for that. 
Now imagine a world where vision is no longer biological, where people with artificial eyes have upgrades, zoom, night vision, object recognition, ad blockers for the real world. That's where this is heading. It's not about fixing the blind anymore. It's about making the sighted obsolete. From sci-fi to surgeon's table, the race for superhuman senses. Let's be real. This isn't just about curing blindness anymore. It's about rewriting what it means to be human. Elon Musk isn't pitching Neuralink as a medical device. He's pitching it as an upgrade path. Blindsight is just the first download. Today, vision restoration. Tomorrow, seeing in infrared, ultraviolet, or even radar. Elon has already teased that Neuralink could let humans detect motion behind walls or see in total darkness. That's not science fiction. It's software. And Neuralink isn't alone. Competitors like Synchron and BlackRock Neurotech are chasing similar goals with less invasive techniques, but they're limited by design. A stent in a blood vessel will never give you high-res, full-color digital vision. It's like trying to stream Netflix on dial-up. Neuralink's edge bandwidth. Thousands of flexible electrodes sewn directly into your brain. It's invasive, yes, but it's the only way to push data in and out with any real speed or resolution. You're basically installing a neural HDMI port. So what happens if, when the upgrade cycle starts? When you can't just see anymore, you can see better than anyone else? Well, Welcome to the era of cognitive FOMO. People lining up for brain surgery because their neighbor can zoom with his eyes. The ethical minefield is massive. The possibilities, bigger. And with Blindsight now classified as a breakthrough device by the FDA, the timeline isn't decades, it's years. So ask yourself, if you could pop out your eyeballs and plug in 4K neural cameras, would you do it? And more importantly, would you ever look back? If your brain hasn't melted yet, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into AI, implants, and the future that's already happening. Because next time, we're talking about Elon's other vision, direct brain-to-brain -brain communication. Yeah, it gets weirder. See you inside the Matrix.